opener is Ragstone Cowboy. Fame and Fortune also arrives in Good Nick as well. And we'll be back in plenty of time with a full show of the betting, along with live commentary. 7-10 at Kempton. First was number two, State of Affair, at 6-1. to one. Second was at number four, City Tour, at 6-1. to one. And third was at number one, Grey Spirit, at 12-1. to one. The non-runner was number nine, 10 ran. Kempton's latest race, a fine front-running ride by Jamie Spencer, sees it out on board State of Affair, holding off City Tour and Grey Spirit's late charges. We've got two more to come from Kempton tonight, the next of which is at 7.40. It's the 32 red on the App Store handicap, and we have a full field of 14. Likely that in the betting market, Atalanta Breeze could well be favourite for trainers Marcus Dragoning. Kieran Schumach takes the ride on this uh, daughter of Shams Elise, who scored last time out. That was on her handicapping debut, and she's only been risen three pounds for that and is still open to plenty more improvement. Uh, another recent winner is Ragstone Cowboy. Fame and fortune also arrives in good nick as well, and we'll be back in plenty of time with a full show of the betting, along with live commentary. 7-10 at Kempton. First was number two, State of Affair, at 6-1. to one. Second was at number four, City Tour, at 6-1. to one. And third was at number one, Grey Spirit, at 12-1. to one. The non-runner was number nine, 10 ran. Kempton's latest race, a fine front-running ride by Jamie Spencer, sees it out on board State of Affair, holding off City Tour and Grey Spirit's late charges. We've got two more to come from Kempton tonight, the next of which is at 7-40. It's the 32 red on the App Store handicap, and we have a full field of 14. Likely that in the betting market, Atalanta Breeze could well be favourite for trainers Marcus Dragoning. Kieran Schumach takes the ride on this uh, daughter of Shams Elise, who scored last time out. That was on her handicapping debut, and she's only been risen three pounds for that and is still open to plenty more improvement. Uh, another recent winner is Ragstone Cowboy. Fame and fortune also arrives in good nick as well, and we'll be back in plenty of time with a full show of the betting, along with live commentary. 7-10 at Kempton. First was number two, State of Affair, at 6-1. to one. Second was at number four, City Tour, at 6-1. to one. And third was at number one, Grey Spirit, at 12-1. to one. The non-runner was number nine, 10 ran. Kempton's latest race, a fine front-running ride by Jamie Spencer, sees it out on board State of Affair, holding off City Tour and Grey Spirit's late charges. We've got two more to come from Kempton tonight, the next of which is at 7-40. It's the 32 red. This on event the App will Store start handicap, in 60 seconds. And we have a full field of 60 14. Seconds. Likely that in the betting market, Atalanta Breeze could well be favourite for trainers Marcus Dragoning. Kieran Schumach takes the ride on this uh, daughter of Shams Elise, who scored last time out. That was on her handicapping debut. And she's only been risen three pounds for that and is still open to plenty more improvement. Uh, another recent winner is Ragstone Cowboy. Fame and fortune also arrives in good nick as well. And we'll be back in plenty of time with a full show of the betting, along with live commentary. This event starts in 30 seconds. 7 in 10 30 at Kempton. Seconds. First was number two, State of Affair at 6 to 1. Second was at number four city tour at six to one and third was at number one gray spirit at 12 to one the non-runner was number nine 10 ran kempton's latest race a fine front running ride by jamie spencer sees it out on board state of Ten affair seconds. holding off city tour and gray spirits late charges we've got two more to come from kempton tonight the next of which is at 7 40 it's the 32 red on the App Store handicap, and we have a full field of 14. Likely that in the betting market, Atalanta Breeze could well be favourite for trainers Marcus Dragoning. Kieran Schumach takes the ride on this uh, daughter of Shams Elise, who scored last time out. That was on her handicapping debut, and she's only been risen three pounds for that and is still open to plenty more improvement. Uh, another recent winner is Ragstone Cowboy. Fame and fortune also arrives in good nick as well, and we'll be back in plenty of time with a full show of the betting, along with live commentary. And welcome back. Over we go for the action at Kempton. Runners are down at the start for the penultimate race on their card. Favourite here, Sandy Steve, who's in at 9-4. to four. Fame and Fortune is a 13-2 to two chance with Uncertain Smile at 9-1. to one. Atalanta Breeze at 9-1. to one. Garua at 10s. Yvette at 11s. Ragstone Cowboy at 12s. Four Mile Bridge at 12s. Duke of Dunabar at 12s. And 20-1. to one. And bigger the other runners so we've got a full field of 14 of them here for this one mile three furlong handicap sandy steve at nine to four this has been a well backed favorite for the stuart williams team and sheen murphy taking the ride and back on poly track a surface that he was a winner on a couple of outings ago 
Um, he's uh, coming here holding pretty serious claims. Stall 10 is a little bit of a negative, though, I'd say, particularly with the right-handed Ben coming up fairly soon after the start. Fame and Fortune is second in the betting market for Joseph Tute. Kieran Fallon taking the right. Kieran takes off three pounds. Fame and Fortune is... Um, Steadily rising in the weights, but has been holding his form well on artificial surfaces in recent weeks. It looks a big player. And it's 9-1 to one for Atalanta Breeze. Atalanta Breeze for Marcus Dragonin. Kieran Schumark takes the ride. A winner last time out has been risen £3 for that. And likely to uh, be more to come from this lightly raced daughter of Champs-Élysées. She's only had the four career starts, ultimately. So we're down to the final couple of runners to head forward for this latest race. And then we'll be underway. So still to go forward is uh, Duke of Dunbar. And out of line as well is Uncertain Smile. Adam Kirby taking the ride on that one. And then we'll be ready to go for this this event has been, this event is now in play. Just shy of a mile and three furlongs. And they're off, racing away. Ragstone Cowboy a little bit tardily into stride. Breaking out well and certain smile. Leads up down past the stands for the first time, but only just. Over towards the inside, four mile bridge is lying up handily. And a little bit wider out as they hit the bend to find... Also racing prominently, uh, Kabur and uh, Garua is uh, not too far off them either as they now swing right-handed and gallop on out towards the back straight. And uh, with the lead, it is Uncertain Smile by a couple of lengths over Four Mile Bridge, Duke of Dunabar, and then Garua, who's a little wider out of Yvette. Working back through the field then to find Asensio, who's uh, pugged away down along the inside of Atalanta Breeze, who's a little wider out on the track. Ragstone Cowboy is well back in the ruck at this stage, along with Miss Pollyanna, and also Lynchpin is well down, as they continue their run over in the back straight. Red Secret is right towards the back end of the field in company with Sandy Steve and Miss Elsa. So they head on down towards the halfway stage, and they're being taken there by Adam Kirby and Uncertain and smile. Uh, gifted an easy lead here. And they show up by four to five lengths. They've opened up here to in second position, Duke of Dunabar, as they swing out of the back straight. Racing in third to the rails is Four Mile Bridge. Two lengths back, Yvette is lying in fourth. Another two lengths away to Garur. And in behind that one, Chase's uh, Fame and Fortune is a little wider out of Asensio. Ragstone Cowboy is back with those. Sandy Steve still with plenty more in front than behind. Lynchpin just overtaking that one towards the outer. Uh, looks as if Red Secret now has been relegated to last place. Miss Elsa is one from last. They turn their heads for home. An uncertain smile still remains in front by around about a length and a half. Over Four Mile Bridge in second place is now trying to mount a challenge. And they're being followed through by a vet. Sandy Steve has cut over to the inside and is running home very powerfully as they make the run down towards the final furlong. And Sandy Steve is quickening up nicely here to come through and take over. Uh, also staying on is Miss Elsa from a long way back. They're inside the final furlong, though. Sandy Steve has got the lead. Sandy Steve showing the way as they this race into the final suspended. 